Hello, YouTube family. Tom, a.k.a. Patrick, here today with... Mercy. And we have a really large, a very large, eclectic Dollar Tree haul today yes. with a taste test at the end, a very fun taste test. If you're new to this channel, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, all that fun stuff. It really helps our channel. It helps the algorithm. We appreciate it so much, even if you don't, but it just really helps us. So do that if you're new. And if you're an old returning friend, thank you for watching. Before we begin today's haul, Mercy has an announcement. Yes. Okay, you guys. So um, as you all know, it's about mid-August and starting this Monday, I'm going to be starting school up again. It's going to be my first day of school. And because of that, I am going to be super duper busy. I have a lot going on this year. And so because of that, I won't be on the channel as much um, as I have been. And I am also thinking about starting perhaps my own YouTube channel coming up soon. Um, I don't know what exactly it's gonna be about or what the name is yet, but I am thinking about starting one um, soonish. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And you know, I think maybe every now and then I'll probably make an appearance, but I probably won't as much as I have in the past just to let you guys know just so you're not like hey where's mercy you know I just want to let you guys know that just so um you all are aware because I want everybody to be aware and I don't want to just like ghost anybody you know so yeah that is my that's my announcement on my part but now we we need to start this haul because we got a <laughs> lot for you guys this today. is a very large haul yes Thank you yes. so much, Mercy. Without further ado, because it is so large, let's begin the haul. All right, here we go. I have a bunch of food items and then a taste test. Um, I have some other food items we're gonna taste test at the end that I'll wait to show at the end. So, here we go. Sorry for any sounds of crinkling bags. We're filming outdoors today. Just a nice, beautiful day in Minnesota before the big heat wave hits the whole good portion of the US, but here we go, okay. So the first one, not too exciting, returning, you know, just, we love these and they're such a great deal. So we we found this, you know, this is Freshly's honey buns. These are so delicious. Just repeat item for us, but just wanted to show that, that we found that. Um, this will be so fun to try. This is Kathy K caramel cob, soft caramel popcorn. You know, it's uh, 2.5 ounces. We never tried this. This is, it actually says allergen warning contains milk and soy products for those of you that that applies to. And these are made in the USA or this is made in the USA. So we're looking forward to trying that. We found that. Now, this was really fascinating because the way they worded it, Libby's, you know, that's you know good name brand, Libby's Crispy sauerkraut we're very curious mm. as to what crispy sauerkraut tastes like have any of you tried this and if so would you comment let me know a if you liked it and b you know what's the difference between crispy sauerkraut and just sauerkraut we were just kind of curious and this is a product of the usa here is some pertinent information there so you know five calories per serving all that fun stuff so we found this so we just thought that was an interesting find and we found this product, Maruchin Yaki Soba, Korean barbecue flavor. This is actually made in the USA. Here's, it's 520 calories per serving. And we just thought that was kind of a fun find for $1.25. By the way, everything in this haul, food, every single item we show is a $1.25. We found this is nothing from the bonus section in this haul whatsoever. So, so I wanted to mention that up front. Um, we found this Hungry Jack. This is a great deal. You get a pound of pancakes, you know, 16 ounces, obviously. Hungry Jack name brand, complete original pancake and waffle mix. Just add water. Good old fashioned Hungry Jack. Here is some calorie information there. Sorry for any glare. We are filming outside and the cloud cover kind of keeps going back and forth. Um, this is Hometown Food Company in West Madison, Chicago, Illinois. Fascinatingly enough. So we found that.
we found um, these two products from David. Name brand David and um, David is a company also, Congra Brands, Conagra Brands in Chicago. And as you can see, pumpkin seeds and Frank's Red Hot Salted and Roasted Sunflower Seeds. Mm. I am a big fan of Frank's Red Hot. I put that stuff on everything, as the Eli Manning commercial says. Very humorous commercial, I might add. Um, 290 calories for this one. And per serving, obviously. This one, 150 calories per serving. And yeah, we found those and looking forward to trying those. Thank you, Mars. This is Ortega, awesome brand name, as everyone knows. Ortega guacamole seasoning mix. And you, all you have to do is get a couple of avocados from your local grocery. And all the instructions, ingredients, and directions are right back here. So I like that. I love having the directions there. Um, only five calories per serving. Wow. Pretty awesome stuff. So we found that. Who doesn't love Tootsie Rolls? And you get 50% more. This is a great deal for $1.25. The price of candy is going up everywhere. And Tootsie Roll, iconic, as it says there, made in the USA with the flag. Iconic na name brand, obviously. Everyone knows Tootsie Roll. And Chicago's on a roll today. Also Chicago, Illinois. 120 calories per serving. We were very pleased to have found that. Now these are Quetara, and these are entertainment crackers, and you get three packets, multi-grain water cracker and butter crisp. Um, I'm looking forward to trying these. These are made in Mexico, and here is the calorie information for all three different types of crackers. 150, 130, 120, multi-grain water cracker and butter crisp. These look yummy. I'm very interested yeah. in trying these. Aren't you, Merce? Yeah, what yeah. does water cracker taste right. like? Right, I don't even know what that what? means. So I'm looking forward to trying that, yeah. So I'm, I'm actually, this was just kind of a, we were just kind of curious when we saw this, like, yeah, let's try this. So we'll let you know how those go. I am a Twizzlers person. Love, love, love Twizzlers. And here are three different Twizzlers of different sizes, I might add. This one is cherry, low-fat, uh, pull and peel, 70 calories per serving. And again, there's glare in the car, so I apologize for oh, any yeah. of that. The, the sun's going in and out, but it was just such a nice day we wanted to record outside today. This is from the Hershey Company in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Twizzlers, iconic brand. So that we got that one. 4.2 ounces, I should add, for the cherry. Pull and peel. This one is Twizzlers Cherry Pull and Peel Minis. So similar, but different, little different packaging and the minis. Hershey, Pennsylvania, as I said, 100 calories per serving. And you get 3.75 ounces here. And lastly, Cherry Twizzlers Bites. You get five ounces here. So this one's the best deal. And... 110 calories per serving. So I don't know, I'm a Twizzlers person, just absolutely love them. I was so pleased to have found all three of these at our local Dollar Tree, because the price of candy is going up, as everybody knows. Um, this is kind of a fun flavor. Double Bubble Gumballs Dreamsicle. And this is made in Canada. That's kind of fun. Shout out to our friends to the north in Canada. Double Bubble Dreamsicle. It's interesting they put calories for gum, but 25 calories per serving. That's what it says. So I will say it too. But that's just a really fun, um, I think a fun flavor to try. I've never tried Dreamsicle gum before. Yeah. So that'll be fun. This was a really good deal. So a lot of times you will find um, the Duncan Hines at the Dollar Tree in the eight by eight. 
as far as pan size. So this is really, really pleasing to find a 13 by nine, 13 by 13 by nine family size, chewy fudge brownie mix, very good deal for $1.25. Here is your calorie ingredients there and thick and fudgy, 18.3 ounces. Yum, can't wait to make some of those up. I Mercy, love brownies. Mercy's a huge brownies fan. Oh yeah. A huge brownies fan. Now the polar opposite of a brownie would be these, but we just thought it'd be kind of fun. First of all, this is a huge name brand, Chicken of the Sea Sardines in Louisiana hot sauce. So that could be really interesting. These could mm. go really wrong or really right. Um, if we weren't in the car, this might have been one of our taste test items, but I thought it'd be kind of logistically not the easiest in a car to pull off. So we're not going to taste test this, but I'll let you know how these go. 3.75 ounces. But yeah, the Louisiana hot sauce is what caught my eye for this. This will be interesting. Chicken of the Sea sardines in Louisiana hot sauce. Um, some of you may, you know, just like that, it's, that they're wild caught. You know, they're not in captivity. Um, and this is a product of Poland, which is fascinating. Mm. Not a country you see every day as far as uh, a producer of food sold here in the U.S. So there you have it. An interesting one. And similarly, these are Pampa smoked oysters. We found these. Uh, this is a product of China. So I'd mention that right away. Yeah, Pampa smoked oysters, three ounces with carrots, onions, and red chili peppers. So um, 130 calories per serving made in China. And we will give these a try. And we just thought that was kind of a interesting find. So we got that. You know, we found this, we like this, this Chumex um, guava nectar from Concentrate, Juicy Guavas. Look at how much you get. You get 33 oh, points. Yeah. So, you just get so much. It's so, really good too. Yeah, Mercy really likes this. is 33.8 ounces. And yeah, I mean, this is just a really good deal. And here's your calorie info. They kind of do the sideways. Writing here, 90 calories per serving. A product of Mexico. So we got a couple of these. We just wanted to show one. And Starkist. So similar to Chicken of the Sea, brand name Starkist. Everyone knows that. Uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, product of Ecuador. Oh, it's distributed in Pittsburgh. Yes. Product of Ecuador. How fun. Again, another country you don't, you know, say every day for a um, food distributor. So there you have it. Starkist Tuna Creations Ranch, as you can see, of course, and 70 calories per serving. High in protein. Yeah, it is high in protein. 15 grams of protein. So, yes, yeah, so this is a fun one. Gluten-free, soy-free, wild-caught, dolphin-safe. I know that's important to a lot of people, so we found that. Kind of a fun one. And then I'm kind of saving, for me, one of the, the fun thing for last... And you'll see why in a moment. Um, but two more things before that. So this is Marcel's Modern Pantry Almond Plant-Based Beverage Unsweetened. Um, I can tell you this would not be something I would enjoy very much. I think Mercy and her mom might. I'm not a huge almond milk person. Yeah, so we got this. You know, we're kind of... My mom likes it. So. Yeah, so, you know, well, I'll, you know, I'll try it. It's distributed by um, Diversified Foods in Matari, Louisiana. So it's packaged in the USA. And there's a lot of info here. It is, um, it's 30 calories per serving. You know, it's four servings per container. And there you have it. Yeah. Also, I would just like to add. Yes. It's gluten-free. Yes. It's vegan. Those are very yes. good. Also, it says, I think at the top here, that's carrageenan-free, which if you don't know, carrageenan is like this, like really like toxic, like seaweed that they put in a lot of like foods to make it more like creamy and stuff oh, like that. Right. But it's actually like, kind of toxic for you. Sure. And so that's really this is nice. Really good for you. It does not have yes. that in it. So. so yes, hopefully this will be good. Yeah. But like Mercy said, you know, her mom will enjoy it if even if we don't love it, but be worth a try for all of us. So we found that. And then you know we love Pop Tarts, but we also love Toastums. So we got these two um really big Toastums. As you can see, it's a bonus pack and you get eight. I mean, eight of these with the price of everything now. 
I mean, I love strawberry anything. I mean, strawberry toastums, yum. Eight of them for a dollar twenty-five. So that is, I just thought that was so cool. It's got you know the American, you know, it's made here, obviously, all that fun stuff and microwave instructions, toasting instructions. Again, sorry for the glare. It's really sunny out. Here is your calorie information. Now I will say, these are high in calories, three hundred and sixty calories per serving. You know, I don't show a lot of things in this channel that has that high calories. These are very high calorie, but you know, four servings per container. So 360 is if you eat two of them, if you eat two of them, you know. So if you just eat one, it's 180. But we found that for the strawberry. And then we also found uh, brown sugar cinnamon. So I prefer the strawberry, but you know, a lot of people really like brown sugar cinnamon as well. And this is a um, product of USA. It's also it's actually um, also distributed in Chicago. So we found that. And then, guys, this is fun for me because of these special tops. So these are I have four of these. I'll show two at a time. These are good to grow pods. And as you can see, and I'm sure a lot of you who've been to the Dollar Tree have seen these because I've seen these hauled on a lot of different. Dollar Tree channels that we channels that we love and as you can see up here you get a character inside of the pod is that what you call that Merce yeah like a pod and I want to mention when you open this if you if you break the seal and you open this you just drink straight from the thing so it's it's almost like not really like for kids you might spill this so just know that when you open this here I'll open one um or maybe I won't. It'll take too long to get this out. But just just know when you open this, it, it just it's like the whole opening. You just drink straight from it. Or obviously you could pour it pour it in a. Oh sure. You know what? Maybe I will open this. I will open this because I just think it'd be good to show everyone. Um, you know, just for reference. Twist open. It actually says twist open to drink. So okay, so you get this. And you open this up, Ooh. and then you have this. Have a seal. That's good. Yeah, just the seal here. So that is good that it's sealed, but you just drink straight from this huge opening. But so, but the pod, the character stays in the pod. You know what I mean? Like it's just one. Like the collectible is the whole thing. Like I don't, I don't even, I don't think you can take. This doesn't open. No. So like the character, like this would be your collectible. But you know, obviously, like you have Patrick. You know which is, you know, near and dear to my heart. That's the name of the channel. So I got, we got four of these. You know, and as you can see, they're different flavors, of course. Like, for example, this is orange mango, obviously, as it says there. This one is raspberry lemonade. Mm. And you have the Mandalorian character here with Baby Yoda from the show, Man The Mandalorian. And, of course, uh, Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants. So we got those two flavors and characters. And then, um, these are actually, actually, we have three of these were orange mango. So both of these are orange mango flavor, but look at these characters. Oh my goodness. When I was a kid, I loved these characters. A stormtrooper and of course, Darth Vader. One of the best movie villains of all time. I should mention these are 20 calories per serving. And is it gluten-free? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But, you know, it has all the pertinent information there. But, yeah, just a fun, just, you know, no sugar, no sugar added. Just orange mango flavored juice beverage. Three of the four were orange mango. And we just really, I thought it was really fun. You know, the character pods definitely caught my eye. So, obviously, you can collect all of those. So, I'm sure a lot of you have seen those in your Dollar Trees. They, so, they have a whole ton of variety. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's so many more characters, characters and so many more flavors. So... That is the first portion of our haul today. Alrighty. Uh, so we're, like I said, we're filming in the car. So excuse us. So, okay, so by the way, I'm gonna do my part of the haul and then Mercy's gonna finish up the haul and do her part. We just thought it'd be kind of fun to do it that way. Yeah. Okay, so the next group of items I have to show are just kind of this eclectic hodgepodge of stuff. So this is kind of fun. So that was, that was all the food we have until our taste test. So. This is interesting. So this is SureSense Cozy Corners air freshener. And, you know, kind of self-explanatory. You know, 
it says instructions for use. It just kind of tells you here, you know, remove device from the package, put the, pull the film out from the side of the product. Scent is gradually released and place the product in any area. So there you have it, you know, just self-explanatory. A sure scent cozy corner. So we found that. And then similarly, we got this. So this is a, it's a toilet cleaning gel. Now this is very interesting. So you get one dispenser with 14 flower stamps. Stops lime scales and stains with air freshening scent. Cleaning made simple, no scrubbing. Now the directions are here. So let me show you those close up. For any of you, you know, any of you who want to read those, pause it and read it. But I'll just read it very quickly. Uh, directions apply to a clean toilet. Remove the cap of the gel tube. Slide the dispenser and gel tube together. Position end of gel tube near the rim on inside of bowl. Press down while pushing the unit towards the bowl. Replace cap securely and store. Retain this box for full use and safety instructions. So then it kind of gives you the ingredients. But we just thought that was kind of interesting. You know, so it's just a kind of a simple you know toilet cleaning thing and you know for buck 25 we thought that was worth a shot so we found that and then this was cool this is and this is you know made by the dollar tree you know the, the green briar but this is a um what would you call this merce uh like, like a, a traveling mug like a traveling mug yes i couldn't think like water bottle traveling mug. but this is really interesting so as you can see up here, this kind of slides, you know, you slide this back, drink from it. But we really like, like, this is like a really cool, like a, no, 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 metallic, like yeah. kind of a metallic sheen. So we kind of thought that was fun. I, I love blue. This is an awesome color. So we just thought, wow, for $1.25, you know, why not? So we found that. It is the Greenbrier Dollar Tree brand. So we found that. And then we got a couple of these, um, a couple of these different, Sure fresh products. So I got three of them. So let me just show them to you one at a time. Okay. So here we go. So this one is it's a it's a um it's two cups and there's an ice pack inside of the lid. So that's kind of fun. Container and lid, removable ice pack snaps into lid, and yeah. Kind of self-explanatory there. Greenbrier, two cups, 16 fluid ounces. So we found that. And similarly here, this one is just oval. So container and lid with an ice pack. So we found that one in the oval. So yeah, we just thought that was kind of a fun find. Got that. And then we got this one. This is two reusable rounds. Let me open this up and just show everybody. I want to kind of open this and just show what this is about here. So as you can see here, you get two of them with two lids. And I just wanted, you know, it's just, I think it's just important to show that you do get, look how cool. So you get two of them. So aren't those cool? I mean, for $1.25, I just thought that was such such a fun find and a great deal so there you have it we found all those items from sure fresh and then these um and these are the green briar but you know they call it essentials so we found two different kind of not sizes they're both 13 gallons but they're two different scents uh, they're both drawstring bags, drawstring trash bags, obviously. But one of them you get nine bags, and this one you get seven bags. We're not quite sure why. But this one here is interesting in that it is mint, and then this one is citrus. So we kind of found that interesting. And, you know, we really like the, um, the flex. We really enjoy the flex bags, you know, with, you know, with the drawstring. So, yeah. Pretty good deal we found those and then we always we really like these lights um we really like these wall tap lights they do not come with batteries you need to get triple a batteries for these but just you know just the everyday tap lights from greenbrier the dollar tree brand 
So we love those and we already have some AAA, but we just wanted to show them um, in package. So we found those. And then for our dog, Bentley, we got some, um, you know, some bags, some dog waste bags and football season's almost ready to start. And you know, this is Vikings purple. So think of that what you may. I won't even add to that. Maybe self-explanatory. So we found those for our dog, Bentley, who we sometimes call Mr. Bentley. So we found those. And then lastly, for this um, bag, we found, this is really interesting. So these are becoming really, really popular across the US, you know, just for environmental purposes. As, as it says here, so each bag replaces up to 500 single-use plastic zipper bags. So this is a set of two snack bags. As you can see, there's a whale on there. It says, whale, hello there. Now, obviously you have to wash these when you're done, but they're earth-friendly, of course, and hand wash, it says use and care. Hand wash with warm, soapy water. And full disclosure, we've never used these before, but we just saw, you know, these are kind of becoming more popular. They're kind of catching on, obviously, like for the environment and everything, you know, this is probably a good idea. So you get two reusable food safe, BPA free storage bags, leak proof, airtight lock seal design, stand upright for everyday use and storage. Ease and Mercy, you're probably gonna have these for your lunches for school. Yeah. And her brother as well. So we got this size, which is seven inches by 4.6. And as you can see, you know, you get two of them. So we got this one. And then we got this other size, which is eight by eight. Here. And of course, it says feed me with the, mm -hmm. like the T-Rex. But yeah, you know, these are kind of catching on throughout the U.S. And again, I mean, that's a big deal. Each bag replaces up to 500. Yeah. I mean, Mercy, you like that, right? Oh, yeah. Isn't that just a great idea? Yeah, so that is, you know. And again, um, hand wash with warm, soapy water. So there you have it. Um, these are made in China. They're distributed in New, in New York, New York. And uh, yeah, so two different sizes of those that we found. So we're going to give those a try. And then I just have one bag left. And then it'll be Mercy's portion of the haul. And then a really fun taste test. Okay, so these are just some cleaning products, not the most exciting in the world, but you know, some kind of good deals. So we got this, um, this is, you know, love my carpet, we like this. You know, you get 9.7 ounces, self-explanatory, foaming carpet cleaner, spray and vacuum, self-cleaning, fights odors, obviously. So yeah, we really like this and uh, we found that. We love these, you know, um, sometimes, these are hard to find sometimes at our Dollar Trees. So when we we just pick some up every time we find them. Um, in our stores, we've been finding the green. Hard to see in the sun. I don't know if you can see that color, but. Oh, I can smell it from here. <laughs> yeah, Mercy can smell it. Take my word, these are indeed green. So um, sometimes you get pink, you get different colors, but lately in our Dollar Trees in the Twin Cities area, um, they have been green, but in-wash aroma booster and odor eliminator, 17.5 ounces. So we found that. Um, this is very interesting. Um, this is a liquid detergent in Sueno. I wanted to mention that this is um, made in Mexico. Now, the interesting part about this, we have not tried this. You know, it's a liquid detergent and it it's for eight loads, okay, eight loads. You know, stain fighting power, you know, shows a picture of a shirt. So, you know, if you get a stain on your shirt. The interesting part about this, this bag is not resealable. So when you open this, you need to find another container to pour this in. That's very important that I, I thought that I point that out for everyone. So that is something to consider when you buy this. If you don't wanna, the hassle of putting this in another container, this may not be for you, but we just thought we'd give this a try. And yeah, you know, eight loads of laundry, liquid detergent. You get 13.5 ounces. 
made in Mexico and Sueno. So we found that. And then this we like, this is LA's totally awesome wood cleaner for wood and other surfaces, 32 ounces. Cool color and self-explanatory. Household, kitchen, and floors. Obviously, use it on wood surfaces. Um, other surfaces you can use it on. Automobiles, no wax floors, painted surfaces, stains, tiles. And made in the USA. So yeah, we picked this up. Obviously, you get a lot. You get 32 ounces for buck twenty-five. So yeah, just for cleaning your wood surfaces, we found that. And then two more items before Mercy's turn. This is, um, you know, we have two kitties in our house and this is Fresh Step name brand. This is a litter box deodorizing crystals, um, or this is, yeah, and it controls odors. The thing with this is you only put in one, you measure out about a fourth of a cup and sprinkle evenly over the litter. And it kind of gives you directions on the back. When you do get it, it does give you directions, but I'll just read them for, for everybody. Again, you put one fourth of a cup and you just sprinkle evenly out over your litter and that's it. And reseal, make sure to reseal it. And they're water soluble and that's it. Just use every time you scoop for a refreshing scent. Just helps your kitty litter smell a little bit better. 15 ounces, not bad for a buck 25. So we found that for the kitties. And lastly, before I turn it over to Merce, this is scrub free glass cleaner. We picked this up because you get a 20% bonus. So really good deal. Um, yeah, self-explanatory, glass cleaner, windows, mirrors, plexiglass, and not the most exciting item in the world, but comes in handy, you get 12 ounces. And we found that. And guys, this has been such a big haul and we're halfway home. Now for the last part of the haul, the second part of the haul to take us to the taste test. Without further ado, Mercy. Okay, everybody, so I have a lot to get through today so yes. i'm gonna try to go a little bit quicker yes. here um hope you guys don't mind i will be holding up all the stuff but anyways so this first bag that i have right here has some fun kind of fall like arts and crafts kind of activities um so first of all we have these three paper plate activities um we have this one right here that is a squirrel sorry for the glare by the way uh this one that's a little pumpkin and this one oh wait and this one that is kind of this like kind of harvesty theme with like an owl and all that um so in each of these there is six of them which is great not just one and also i'm thinking about maybe like having my brother do these because i was just thank you for saying that i was just yeah. gonna throw that in oh wait, yeah our, you know our my son her brother has special needs this would be a wonderful activity for him yeah and he loves doing like crafts with paper plates. Yes. So I think these would be wonderful for him to do. And then in here also, you just have this little activity. This is one of those like wooden um, things where it like comes with like markers and all that. This one is a Thanksgiving turkey with some pumpkins. Y'all know that I painted that fishbowl um, around like two months ago. Um, kind of the same like wooden thing from Dollar Tree, but now they have all their fall stuff out with this turkey. So there is that. And then we also have kind of like some decorations and, as well. Uh, we have this really cute uh, skeleton garland, uh, very perfect for any Halloween parties or anything like that. Um, there's some black and white skeletons as you can see. They're just, they're really cute, I like them. And we also have these drawstring treat bags for um, either like a Halloween party, like a goodie bag or um, to give away candy and for trick or treaters. We have it in this pumpkin. I think you can like drawstring. I think that so. It's like um, more round. So it looks like a round pumpkin, which that is a very, very cool idea. So there is that. All right. And now I have this bin right over here with a lot more of some like fall decorations and all yes. that. First of all, um, these I believe were shown in the thumbnail. These are some of the gnomes. Dollar Tree is obsessed with like gnomes and gnome decorations. And uh, they did not disappoint this year. We have this one that's a mummy. Sorry for the 
Oh, the sunlight. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, We're filming outside. The sun keeps, the clouds keep yeah. going over. So thank you for being patient, everyone. Um, I'll show it back here. So we have this mummy right here, all wrapped up. I think that one's really cool. And then we also have uh, Frankenstein's monster with his big forehead. And yeah, they're they're really cute. Mm -hmm. they have this outdoor decoration, yes. inside decoration, you know. Um, we also have some of these kind of like um gnomes on these like sticks are called yeah they're called gnome picks yeah. so we first have these two gray gnomes with some leaves on their hats we have these orange gnomes they have such fuzzy beards oh my goodness <laughs> uh they have these orange gnomes with these sunflowers i love sunflowers they're like my favorite flower ever and we also have these picks uh as frankenstein's monster once again um, all very green and very spooky. So we have those as well. All right, and then we just kind of have some more fall decorations over here. Um, of course, they have pumpkin stuff out. I mean, what's fall without pumpkins, am I right? So there are three different colors that we picked up. There's this kind of like orangey color, burnt orange. Ooh, that looks really good in the sun. Um, Actually, it did. Yeah, kind of these like fuzzy pumpkins. Cool. We have them in this like deep green color as well. Very, very nice. And then we also have these ones in blue. This is like a very like nice, like yeah. warm blue. Very perfect for like the fall colors. So yeah, I really like these quite a bit. And to kind of keep up with the pumpkin theme, we also have these uh fuzzy pumpkins as well these kind of like curly pumpkins these look really nice in the sunlight too um yes. we picked up two of these and so here they are they're like really soft and they're plush pumpkins too which i think that that's like very nice uh so there are those and then we also have for a pick we have this uh acorn pick as well because acorns are also kind of part of like the fall theme as well they're very nice they're all different or well these two are the same but this one's a different color which i think these are really cool they are they're very perfect for like floral arrangements so we have those um also in here we have these uh door hangers that you can put on your door to kind of give your or no wreath hangers yeah these are called wreath hangers my bad um they can put on your door to kind of put some you know, fall festivity um, in your home yes. or on your home rather. Um, so we have this one that's a sunflower. It's so pretty. Oh my it goodness. Is. And then we also have these pumpkins as well and also with the sunflower. Yeah, they look cool in the sunlight as well. Oh yeah. These, these decorations look really cool in the sunlight, yes. I will admit. So those are very, very fun. Uh, speaking of leaves, we also have these little like packs uh they can put on these like they're called wreath decoration kits and yes. on the front as you can see i think you can see that yeah um it kind of like shows like an example of a wreath it does it doesn't actually come with the wreath or the decorations for the wreath but these are just decorations that you can put on a wreath that you're already kind of making and so um they are these, there they are um we have frankenstein's monster yes. We have a skeleton as well, and also in the front, kind of has like the like, has like the little like inspiration for what you can do with these and what they kind of look like. All um, kind of put out on a wreath. I wanted to add very briefly. It says can fit a 14 inch wreath. Okay. I just to add it. Yes. Yes. Can fit a 14 inch wreath. And we also have this one for a witch. Cool. And this is the inspiration for that as well but again sorry for any glare oh yes all right and we kind of have some more craft kits uh we have these two right here they're six pieces but um it creates uh three different ones that are right here there is a pumpkin a uh, gnome and an acorn and these are just these fun little like felt kits that you can do 
Uh, maybe my brother can do these as well. Yes, Never I think know. he'd enjoy. Yeah, I think, I think it's very fun. And then you tie it with uh, string, I believe, as well. So, yeah, those are kind of fun. And then I also have this other craft kit with three different characters. We have a scarecrow, a turkey, and an owl. So, oh. once again, just a lot of fun things that you can do this fall. Alrighty. Uh, we have a few more things. Um, oh, my bad. This is also more part of the us. wreath uh, kit. Great. So this is a ghost. That is my bad. Um, and then this is kind of like the inspiration for that as well. Very, very cute. I just told us now it's Greenbrier Dollar Tree brand, but yes. it's made in China. This okay. Is, this is, but this is so, I just love these. Oh, yeah. So cool. And then um kind of last up on the uh fall and halloween theme here we also have these really yeah. really cute stickers okay i am i'm literally obsessed with these ghosts oh, like so cool. they're so cute oh my gosh i'm definitely gonna put this in like my sketchbook and for collaging purposes because i love to collage so yeah there we go so that's it for all of the fall and halloween stuff now it's kind of some more miscellaneous kind of some office stuff and school stuff as well um we have these three bins right here i believe okay this one's kind of wait no ah, i guess i got myself organized <laughs> okay this one's um i believe an older one um this one is kind of like uh this kind of like nautical theme with like the navy blue and white stripes which are very very neat and the reason why i say this is kind of like an older one is because these other two that i have right here um they say that they are heavier weight so i think they've improved them since they made um the other one that i showed you um but that one's also really cute as well and these two also have some very interesting designs um we have this one that's kind of like uh has like some squares on it and then this one that's kind of like a geometric -y kind of pattern with a lot of triangles and stuff so i wanted to add briefly that they're 10 and a half by 11 by 10 and a half yes i'm very bad at measurements so i also want to add really quickly for pink floyd fans this looks like exactly like pink floyd the wall album cover oh my goodness and we've had some we use these before i mean we use these like a ton we do <laughs> um so it's always nice yes, to pick we're up using them more. today exactly all right and then kind of more for some uh like kind of more craftsy things we had this uh pack of construction paper but what's interesting about this one is the colors like it's like these like pastel type of colors i don't know if it could pick it up well on camera but i just think that it was like really cool like you typically don't see these types of colors in like construction paper pads hmm. and so i thought it'd be fun to pick them up and i also just i think they'd be fun for collaging and sketchbook purposes too I love 35 sheets like yes 35 sheets as well in assorted colors um and then we also picked up two of these composition notebooks right here we have this one with uh these like cassettes and mixtapes very 80s inspired very very cool um and then we also have this one which i personally really like it's kind of more like kind of like a crocheting vibe going on like a quilt which i really like um these are wide rolled just fyi um i don't know how many sheets it is but yeah they are just very cool and it's always nice to have a good notebook on you all righty and then we also have these uh, wooden rulers this is a uh two pack of wooden rulers from jot um now we were thinking of possibly using these for like craft projects or something because i've heard that you can like take like the the stickers off for like the measurements and all that and like you can just like just use the wood part for like um like different like crafts and all that so we might try that um or we can also just use them as regular rulers too because it always nice it's always nice to have a ruler on you so there you go and then we also have these three packs of zebra pens zebra is a very nice uh brand yes. for 
pens and stationery in general. And so we picked uh, these up. The, uh, there are uh, two packs of gel pens. And so we have one in black, in blue, and also multicolored with purple and pink. They're medium point, 0.7 uh, millimeters for the writing, and they're smooth, skipless writing pens. So it's always nice to have some pens on you. Mm -hmm. I love stationery. All right. And then we also just have this two pack of big highlighters. These are just, you know, your traditional everyday highlighters. Um, they're very nice, they're very bright, and they're very good for highlighting. I personally really like this brand of highlighters too, so that is super nice that Dollar Tree has those. And lastly, in this little bin that we have here, we have Ticonderoga, the world's best pencil. I believe that these are the world's best pencil because um, they're, they're very nice pencils, and they're also pre-sharpened too, which is bonus points That's for cool. why they're the best pencil yeah. <laughs> so and ironically they believe it too as it literally they say on there exactly. the world's best pencil all right and so we're done with that bin and now i have one last bin and then a taste test taste test Woo, look at this guy this is a large haul thank you everyone for being so patient yes okay um this is a super duper random item that i have in here but i have a colander um, or a strainer, um, but this is name brand. It is from Sterilite, um, and I know the Dollar Tree has like their brand, yes. and but the Sterilite one, like the name brand, is just a little bit sturdier. So it's always nice to ha get it when it is available. So we make like spaghetti and yes. stuff a lot, and so um, just for cooking purposes, it's always great to have one on you. Um, we have a few dog toys right here. Uh, our dog will probably eat these through in 10 seconds. They'll just destroy them. Exactly. Just... Like, like somebody else trying to get <laughs> these candies that they're trying to ruffle. Yes. But anyways, so we have one in uh, Reese's peanut butter cup, kind of like the packaging. And we also have one in a Hershey's Kiss. Um, it says sweet me, so. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Our dog goes Mr. Crazy. Bentley will lose for squeaky toys. his mind. Yeah, yeah. And they're also kind of like crinkly too, which I, I think that's really good because you can like hear when your dog is playing with the toys, which I yeah. think is super nice. So there you go. Alrighty, we have a whole variety yes. of stuff in here. Um, we have these fun little craft kits. These are wild creatures 3d dinosaur puzzles i think these are really cool i personally really like dinosaurs um i don't know much about dinosaurs but i like learning a lot about dinosaurs and so we have three separate uh packs um i don't i'm really really bad at like the names but here we have like a dinosaur um skeleton we have what is this one? That dinosaur is like a brontosaurus. Brontosaurus, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so there's that, and then the back it also like kind of has like the instructions for like putting it together, but it probably also has instructions inside. And then this one just has multiple dinosaurs just kind of hanging out. Those are like kind of like velo um, those velociraptors. Yeah, yeah. Like in Jurassic Park movies. Yes, and uh, Stegosaurus. Yes. The back. So. Yeah, those are very, very neat. I, I, I would be very much willing to cool. do these because they're very, they're very nice. Um. Oh yeah. So also kind of with like the Halloween stuff, they also have a lot of fabrics that are out. So we picked up four uh, separate ones. We have this one that's just kind of like, um, just a whole random assortment of things. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this one with some black cats. Mm -hmm. This one with skeletons and this one with candy corn. So, um, you know, I might also use these for collaging purposes too. I don't know, but yeah, they're very interesting. Ooh, okay, we have a whole plethora of socks, socks. over here. I love socks. Um, and I kinda needed to add some new ones to my collection, so I'll show you these ones first. Uh, so these ones are kinda more like food socks. They had a whole variety, but I decided to pick up the uh, Cheez-It socks. I love Cheez-Its. I think they're very good. And also some 
pop tarts which i also really like plus i like the colors on this one too those are those really pop yes so these are very very nice socks i love dollar tree socks i like only wear dollar tree socks same um then we have these ones that are kind of more for like the winter but um very nice uh these are a name brand med peds uh fuzzy socks i love fuzzy socks um it says ideal for symptoms of dry skin they're super soft it contains skin soothing aloe vera and also moisturizes feet while you sleep i don't know if i'll wear these while i sleep but i definitely will uh wear this when i um just like whenever my feet get cold and they're a very pretty color too so yeah and then we also have these juncture socks uh these are uh a women's crew sock and they're like a very like thick material and they also kind of have like a wintery type of pattern as well so i definitely think i'll be wearing these a lot during the winter time which is very nice and then we got some silly goofy little socks right here these are called little mismatched socks and what's interesting about these is that like like it says the socks are mismatched i think yes because um like some of them have like a like one has a black heel and then one has a uh, pink heel yeah you can see better from here so yeah they're kind of these like fun rainbowy 80 socks we have this one uh with like these like swirls and i think it has a smiley face too if you can tell i don't know um these ones have some hearts on them those ones are very nice and then these ones also have some more um these ones have smiley faces as well so oh oh wait it says there are three single oh, socks three. i thought there were two. Oh yes Ooh, three single socks that don't match and it's very good i i need to wear mismatched socks more often honestly because these were also three i just noticed yeah every every yep. single one of them is three yes. single socks yes. so just fyi so that's better yes so not two but three good catch Mers. all right and then the last pair of socks i have here is these uh teenage mutant ninja turtles tmnt socks i recently watched uh, the movie that came out i actually saw an early screening of it in theaters it was really good i highly recommend you watch the movie if you're into tmnt or if even if not the animation is 80s oh i stuff. love it oh my goodness so yeah these are some very goofy socks as well um it's like the original kind of like um character design for them so yeah um all right we have some kind of just like hair styling um stuff from the brand spa luxury we have this professional hairspray style or super hold for style and control and we also have this professional styling mousse i don't use products in my hair too often but i sometimes do just if i you know want to go all out yeah. with my hair so yeah they're both extra hold and super hold and then we also have um i think that's yeah that's the only one uh, we have this crest 3d white toothpaste um it's nice that dollar tree sells this because i know it can be a little bit more um like pricey yes but um it's really nice that they have this i heard this is a good brand of toothpaste so i am gonna try this out to see if i like it um and then we have like a whole random variety of stuff in here um all right we have this uh copper care um elbow compression brace um so it's very nice if you ever have any kind of like um pain in your elbow and you kind of need that compression i know you have had 2011 experience. i well 2011 i broke my elbow i just yes. wanted to add super quickly and i used these um in fact i use these a lot you know just kind of a sleeve um you know my elbow actually never really recovered it's kind of stuck at one angle i don't think i've ever shared that on the channel before but you know it was 12 years ago but yeah these these came in really handy these are really cool yes and for dollar 25 my goodness oh yeah all right then we have kind of like the reusable um lunch bags we also have these reusable veggie, veggie bags. bags so you can take these to the store and you don't have to use like plastic ones that the store has you can instead use the ones um from dollar tree and you can use these over and over again and it contains five of them and they're machine washable which is very nice and yeah just 
super environmentally friendly, I would highly recommend them. Um, okay. So we have some uh, lip balm here. We have, these two are actually this kind of the same. These are uh, hemp uh, lip naturals chapstick in two separate uh, scents. We have, wait, what is this? Okay, this one is fresh mint and this one is strawberry. Sorry, I'll put it back so you can see better because sun. Um, so there's that. And then we also have this uh, chap ice lip balm as well uh, in the scent tropical coconut. Uh, it contains Sport SPF 30, which I think is very nice for your lips. And yeah, it's always nice to have chapstick yes. on you. All three of these I just noticed made in the USA, just for those of you who yes. care about that. All right. And then we also have this crystal clear lip gloss from the brand Ioni. Um, this is a brand that Dollar Tree has quite a bit. Um, yeah, this is like a super nice um, lip gloss. Um, yeah. I, th I think this is pretty good, honestly. So and there you go. I wear lip gloss occasionally for plays and stuff, yes. so that might come in handy. I like how they put all their, the social information on the back there. That's oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. And then we also have these uh, hair coils, these um, elastics, and all of these assorted colors. They're very big as well, which I really like. Um, and yeah, I need to wear hair coils in my hair more often, I think. I think I think these would be pretty nice. So, there you go. And we also have these. These are um these are scented hand sanitizer spray sticks. I remember a few years ago they had like the bigger spray bottles, but now they actually have them in sticks, which I think is nice because I think they're kind of more portable and like travelable, you know. Um we have one that's lavender scented and also uh, citrus scented. So those are very nice. Um, I could try them out. Oh yeah. Mm. So there's like a little plastic that you have here. I'll let you put that sure. away. Um, I'll try the lavender one. So it kind of goes down like that and then you can spray it on you. And... Oh, okay. So we well, can't see that, but yeah, so you can just put the hand sanitizer on. It smells your good, hands. I can smell it. Oh, yeah. Really nice. Smells good, and it keeps your hands germ free. Or not totally germ free, but you know. Yeah. Always wear that hand sanitizer on. All right. We have a few kind of fun toys. We have this Family Feud uh, survey says card game. Um, I think it's just fun to have a good yes. card game. And Family Feud is oh, always fun. Love Family Feud. So. Yeah, we picked up that. We also picked up, this is really fun. This is a Hot Wheels, um, like the the like movies or like pop culture cars. And this one is a Barbie themed car. Um, my dad and I actually, or no, we didn't see it together, but we saw, well, yep, we both saw the Barbie seen movie. the Barbie movie, yes. Yes, it's it's really good. I highly recommend it. Agree. Um, so yeah, but this is just like a really, really cool, cool car um with like wings and all that the pink wheels i just i just think hot wheels yes. they put a lot of attention to their cars very and cool and this is a three out of ten so there's like a whole set of ten of these yes so very series. very neat all right and then the last kind of more like fun and games category item is my favorite sports erasers so they have one in a basketball soccer ball um or food football depending on where you live uh baseball and tennis ball um i think i'll give these to my brother as well oh, just because he'd love that he I, he would really like these he'd love that um he loves sports yes so yeah these are these are just super fun um i love very very stuff like cool. that all right and then i have two more items from me uh this is a juncture tote bag we have this like kind of colorful tote bag but now we have one in just a blue Kind of tie dye um yeah i think these are these tote bags are honestly like super nice they carry quite a bit and they're always good just to like carry around stuff for gatherings and all that and then finally in the one, i just want to add super quick oh, okay. there's just on this one you know the width is kind of like this you know when you open it yeah these are great 
All right, and then finally we have these gift boxes from the Dollar Tree kind of party section. Um, sorry for the glare, by the way. Um, yeah, these are two piece uh, gift boxes. The lid is not attached. And so you just kind of like fold them up into like a regular like rectangular box. And yeah, it's really nice that they're kind of in this more like cardboardy type of color instead of like a white box. Cause I don't know, I think this color is kind of more of like a warm feeling instead of just like a plain old white box, you know? Yeah, this one's plain too. I, I just, I don't know, I, I think it's nice. Very so cool. yeah, there you go. That is it for me on my end. And now it's time for the taste test. Oh, thank you everyone. Great job, Mercy. Thank you everyone for being so patient. Any of you who watched this till the end, you are awesome. But totally, it's, it's just a longer video because we just wanted to do this really big kind of almost end of summer type of summer, you know, gigantic haul. Time for the taste test. We have four items that we're gonna taste, test today, all chips. All chips, and before I even start, all four of them are made in the United States, just so I don't have to go over each one. Um, this one is Snyder's of Hanover. A lot of people love this brand. They are from uh, Pennsylvania. It's distributed in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, made in Berlin, Pennsylvania. So, as you can see, these are pretzel pieces jalapeno. Not for everyone, certainly. So we thought we'd try this one first. This will be interesting. This has 130 calories per serving. We're sorry for any glare. The sun comes in and out of the clouds here. Um, carbs. There are 16 grams of carbs. Sort of high. So let's try this. Mercy, you ready? Yes. Also, they are artificially flavored. Yes. Yes. So this will be very fascinating. As I open the bag, the very distinctive odor, is there not, of jalapenos? Oh, do you I smell, smell that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. I, it's been a while since I've opened a bag of chips. Here, I'll pour it into your hand. Okay. Um, Oh. Just you want to chew? I'll, I'll take this. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is very fascinating in that the the smell is very distinct. And again, these are pretzel pieces, jalapeno, from name brand Snyder's of Hanover. So we'll taste these and we'll each score them on a 0.5 basis from zero to ten. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Down the hatch. I have feelings. Yeah, I think they're good. They're a little, they have like an interesting like powdery kind of texture when you chew on them. They're very good, they're very strong. I give them a seven out of 10. They weren't, they aren't something that I'll be like gravitating towards, but they are pretty decent for a ooh, jalapeno snack. Ooh, um, glad we tried those first. So the other foods can. Oh yeah. Those are strong. Yes. I have tried a lot of, you know, jalapeno this, jalapeno that. Full disclosure, I am a gigantic fan of jalapeno. So I would probably score these, score anything jalapeno a little higher than a lot of the public would. These for me, they're strong. They are crumbly, like Mercy said. I like them more than she did, but not as much as I thought I might. I will give these an 8.0, a B minus. I think I would get them again because they're only $1.25. Big flavor. Yes. So I, I think I would get these again, but I'd rather eat other jalapeno, jalapeno flavored chips that are out there, mm -hmm. but that is a good price. So I personally would get them again. I did not like them as much as I thought, but not bad, not bad for me. So 7.0 yeah. for Mercy, 8.0 for me. So there you go, first item down, three to go. So, we are now gonna try our next two items are from the same company. I'll just show you both at once. Pop Daddy Pretzels. Now, interesting um, about these, these are from Whitmore Lake, Michigan for all of our um, friends in Michigan. And we will try the Peppercorn Ranch first. So one garlic par Parmesan and Peppercorn Ranch. 
The calories on this is 160 calories per serving. And how much for carbs? 20 grams, kind of high. Um, you get three ounces in this bag. So, Mercy, are you ready to try some Pop Daddy pretzels? I personally have never tried Pop Daddy pretzels before, have you? No. Okay, so this is new for us. Um, we have the scissors here. Oh. oh, they open really easily. Without a scissors. Okay, so without further ado, Merce, let's try these. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. They're kind of shaped like traditional oh, they're like really thin. pretzel sticks, yes. Well, it says, I guess it says pretzel sticks on the bag, so I should have known. But they're just, yeah, the traditional pretzel sticks. I'll try two. You ready? Let's yes. go. Hmm. And again, the flavor is know. peppercorn ranch. Peppercorn ranch. Hmm. I'm also going to try another one. Interesting. Strong thoughts on this. Hmm. A little light on flavor, in my opinion. The spice kind of got on my fingers, though. Um. Hmm. Yeah, even the spice itself is a little, a little lackluster for me. I think the pretzel is pretty good. I really like the shape. But unfortunately, not that much flavor. So, I will have to give these maybe like a... Like a six out of 10 pretzel. A six out of 10 for you. I feel similarly. I'm gonna go a little higher at seven, but for me, I would not buy them again at seven. Mm -hmm. I would rather just eat a traditional pretzel. I think those suffered from the fact that the Snyders had a ton of flavor. Oh yeah. Good or bad. And then these did not have as much flavor. I agree with Mercy in that after eating a couple, I couldn't really tell you if I were blindfolded, if I hadn't read the bag, that that's supposed to be peppercorn ranch. You can kind of see why they don't want to load it up too much for people, so I get it. Right. They're not terrible. No, they're you actually You know, if really I was good. hungry, would I eat them? Yes. Would I buy them again just because there's so many different things? I probably wouldn't. But it was fun to try, so. Yeah. So a six for you. Six for And me. a seven for me. So I would not get those again. Um, however, so let's try the next um, flavor of, oh, I think I forgot to mention, sorry, really quick, that it was five ounces on these. Five ounces on the Snyder's pieces. And uh, three ounces on the Pop Daddy pretzels. Uh, the calories for these are a little higher than the last flavor, 150. Sorry for the glare there. The sun is coming in and out of the clouds. Okay. And then carbs on this one is 19 grams, as the other one was. All right, let's try these, Merce. All right. This will be interesting, yes. Garlic Parmesan. All right. All right, here we oh, go. Oh, I can smell more flavor. Oh, interesting. Time. You can smell it right away. Yeah. Also yeah. interesting, as I pulled out one, one of my pretzels was much uh, darker than the other one, which could be flavorful. There okay. Again. All, right. All right. Bon appetit. Garlic Parmesan. I could taste a little bit more flavor this time, but just barely. Mm. So I'll give these a 6.5. 6.5. Just because, like, um, just because I can actually, like, taste flavor this time. Sure. But they're... Again, just a little lackluster. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're good pretzels. Like the pretzel itself is really good, but the seasoning is just like not, almost non-existent. Fascinating. Now for me, I had a slightly different experience this time. What was interesting, when I pulled out two pretzels, one of them was darker, that pretzel actually turned out to be somewhat burnt. So maybe just a mistake in the bag, but I kind of like burnt foods. I'm kind of strange that way. So I kind of like that one, but I didn't really like the other one that wasn't burnt. Mm. So I can only go 7.5 on these. Probably would not get these again either. Yeah. Not terrible, but just not. For example, after trying these two uh, flavors of Pop Daddy, it actually makes me like these slightly more. Because I realize, okay, at least these popped with some flavor. Yes. I'd probably go 0.5 higher on these now. 
probably to an 8.5, just after comparing them to these other two. So I can only give these, uh, this flavor, the garlic parmesan, a 7.5. And Mercy, you gave it a 6.5? Okay. So there you have it for those. Um, take a quick drink here. Trusty, um, today I'm going good old McDonald's, Coca-Cola. Um, last but not least. These ones I'm excited about. And should we save this for last? This one is the Kettle Brand Vacuum Barbecue. And I also make everybody excited about these. Now these are gluten-free. I know that's important to a lot of people. So gluten-free, um, you know, non-GMO. You get two ounces here. These are from Salem, Oregon. Kind of cool, pretty cool. Uh, 290 for calories, so kind of high in calories. And for carbs, 30. So these better taste good at those uh, calories and carb. I like their packaging. I like all this stuff here. It's really cool. They're very well packaged. Very pleasing to the eye. Self-explanatory backyard barbecue chips. Let's try this. Right. Oh, you know, I was going to say this one's October 14th, 2023. So, you know, two months away, but watch your expiration dates, obviously, and anything you buy from the Dollar Tree. Without further ado, Merce, let's try these. All right. I love kettle chips. They're yeah, like I'm excited. Kind of I'm excited. And these are barbecue. Yes. Kind of. All right. Ooh, yes. Like let's grab the nice one there. All right. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Eight point five for me. Eight point five. Really Mercy didn't hesitate. She went straight to the eight point five. No, they're very flavor flavorful. They have a lot of like spices on them. They're really good. Um, I also just really love just like kettle chips in general. In like general. I, I definitely prefer them over like a regular potato chip, just because I don't know. There's just like something different about them. Mm -hmm. I just really like. So yeah. Nice. Nine point zero for me. Um, yeah, I give that an A minus. I would definitely can't wait to finish that bag. Mercy and I will split it really delicious 9.0 i i try to reserve 9.5s for special foods i don't normally go to 10 i don't think i've went to 10. so it's close to a 9.5 for me like in the old days the old way we used to score i'd probably go 9.2 but since we're going closest to 0.5s i'll keep it at 9.0 everyone that's the end of today's haul and taste Ooh. test it was a very long video yes it's from our car there was a lot of sunlight a lot of clouds going in and out but you know what it's just kind of fun to do a summertime haul Thank you so much for being patient. Those of you made it to the end. And guys, just have a great rest of your summer. We love you all so very much. Thank you for watching this channel. Mm -hmm. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, all that fun stuff. And until next time, everyone, keep shining. Keep smiling. Keep shopping.